Hey guys, Ben here. In today's video, I should be unboxing the Auric Mega Boss. I'll be using this guy as not as a war boss in Mega Armor, purely because I think he looks awesome, and uh, also I'd rather use Gazgol for himself rather than, well, boss in Mega Armor. So, as you can see, he cost me £21.60, which uh, is dis dis discounted. So, I'm unsure how much he is normally, maybe about £23, £24. Uh, obviously, it comes with your blister. So basically, I'm going to get this and 40 came up. So, let's get right to it. So, put a big shooter in his spare arm, hand or something. And have him with uh, head whoppers kill chopper. So, game out is... Uh, there we go. There's uh, just your instructions right there. So it comes with a big monstrous creature base. I'm gonna try and get him on a 40 mil, but I don't. He's a big model, as you as you'll see. So there's his axe. That's a big old axe. Let me just grab a boy and we'll do a quick comparison. So there's a boy, there's the axe. Yeah, it's big. So there's the axe. Like the groin and the neck. Part of the shoulder. There's uh, the big like skull. One of his legs. There's his uh, torso right there. Some more armor. His other leg. His back. Just has his uh, face right there. So. That's uh, the sprues, and I think the instructions you have to take them out fully because I think there's more to it. Let's quickly have a look. Do do. So yeah, what I've been wanting to pick up for a while because he's just a cool looking model. And I think I'll cost him if you thought it came up, gave him a big shoot or something. Ah, here we go. Yep. So there's his instructions right here. Scan that for the war scroll. And there he is right there. So in the next part of the video, you're going to see this guy fully assembled. And uh, I'll let you know if I manage to successfully put him in a 40mm base. So, I'll see you in a minute. So as you can see guys, the war boss is now complete. Thought I caged him up a bit. So as part of the mega boss, uh, the mega armor upgrade, sorry. You um, pay 40 points for... The Mega Armor, a Power Claw, and a Twin Link Shooter. As you can see, there's a shooter there, it's got a Twin Link Shooter. I use big shooters uh, from, a Dreft, uh, from a Death Dread and um, the Loot with Butter Kit. They stuck them together and uh, they act a bit fancy. There's a bit of tubing going through his uh, armor. There's his axe there. As you can see, I managed to get him on the uh, 40mm base. And there's this big boss paw made. It's like a git find uh, optic up top. So there's a magnet on the bottom, because I wanted to use the monster's creature base. Here's like a little display base. So I'll just let it stick straight on. Obviously, that this is magnetic, that's why uh, it's staying on there. So that's him compared to if I take him off uh, his display base first. So that's in there, and that's when compared to a Space Marine. So as you can see, he's uh, a lot bigger. And this is him compared to a boy. So he is a big model. Which he, he, I like him a lot, it's cool. So, there is what he looks like in Age of Sigma. 
that's in 40k up. So let's talk more about the unit itself. So the war boss, obviously is HQ choice, and he comes in at 60 points. His stat line is weapon skill 5, ballistic skill 2, strength 5, toughness 5, 3 wounds, initiative 4, 4 attacks, leadership 9 and 6 put save. He's a unit type infantry character and his unit competition is one more boss. He comes with standard, he comes with a slugger, a chopper and stick bombs. And uh, special rules are, here we go, Furious Charge, Independent Character, Mob Rule, and he can ward. Which everybody knows what is. So, you may take heavy armour for 4 points, making him 64 points if you didn't give him any, any upgrades. Or, you can, you may replace his Slugger and Chopper with Mega Armour, Twin Link Shooter and Power Claw for 40 points. So that's 100 points right there. So, a bog standard, this, uh, this war boss here, he's uh, 100 points. Which isn't too bad really, considering that the power core is normally 25 points on its own. And the twin link shooter is... The twin link shooter is 3 points, so... It's not too bad there. And you may take items from ranged weapons, melee weapons, runt and squigs, orky no watts and or gifts of gork and marklists. So... As I've always said, I wanted him to have the um, Head Whoppers Kill Chopper or the Axe of the Ragnarok if I want to use the Lucky Stick because you can actually use from the Gasgol supplement Archimedes, uh, I can't really call it, Archimedes, like at the new list of relics. You can use one from there and one from the Codex. So, how he is at the moment, he's sort of like um, he has the Axe of the Ragnarok, which is a decent weapon, and uh, the Lucky Stick. Or you could have uh, the big boss pole, I believe it's called. Let's have a quick look. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, big boss, boss pole basically makes everything fearless. Acts as boss pole, but makes everything else fearless. So you, you could have that and head whoppers kill chopper. But Mega Armor is a 2 plus arm save, but it makes the uh, slow and purposeful. So, thank you very much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the video, uh, the next time you see this guy he should be fully painted up and uh, ready to go, I'm going to start painting my arcs very soon, I've got a day off tomorrow so that'll be me doing that, so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.